Hello everyone and welcome back to Eat Sleep Brief Today I'm going to be covering a topic that I get asked quite a bit. A lot of people ask me, Antonio, what exactly do you feed your corals and how do you go about doing it? Uh, so today I'm going to be answering that and hopefully you guys are able to follow along. You know, I can share your, my experiences with you guys and you guys can you know do as I do and hopefully get the same results. So as I've covered before in another video, you know, there's a lot of variables to corals. Um, lighting is very important. Flow is very important. And by far, one of the most important is stability as far as the parameters. You know, once you get those things in check, another piece of the puzzle is food. Now, there's tons of food out there for corals. So narrowing down and getting the right one is very important because obviously that's going to vary on um, the coloration you get, the growth, and just all in all, keep happy corals. So I've ran quite a, quite a few foods out there and by far I've had the best experience with the combination I'll be showing you guys here today in this video. So pretty much sit back, follow along, hopefully you guys learned something new and let's get right to it. So my food of choice is going to be polyp lap, reef roids, as well as polyp lap, uh, polyp booster. So if you guys have done any research on coral food, this is for sure I would say the best food out there. Polyp lap booster you can see here really entices the corals, uh, really gets them into feeding mode. This is one of, I think, the funnest foods to feed because you see almost an immediate reaction by like your meaty corals like Acans, Duncans. Um, trumpet corals like immediately the uh, scolies as well immediately the feeding tentacles come out and uh, typically I'll put that before I put this in obviously this is a reef roids. it is offered in uh, three different sizes the size I have here is the biggest one a lot of people always ask me what's the difference it's just the size of the container and here you guys can see the directions as far as how to mix it but I'm gonna show you guys kind of how I do it how I've gotten great results with it and you're gonna need kind of a, a measuring spoon. I guess it's not necessary, you can kind of eyeball it, but I use a measuring spoon. Another thing you're gonna need is here a little cup or a glass, whatever you use to, to feed your uh, fish. You can use the same thing in a, a syringe. I have a 10 milliliter syringe and kind of be showing you guys exactly um, how I go about uh, prepping this food, getting everything good to go. And yeah, let's take it from there. So before you get going, you're gonna to wanna to mix up your polyp booster. Um, it says to mix well, so kind of I always like to follow the directions by the manufacturer. So be sure you do mix this well. It's a blend of amino acids, plankton, just a bunch of good stuff. It's really going to entice your corals, get them in a feeding mode. Uh, once you get that, check out. It does have kind of a, a measuring um, uh, reference here on the side. For my specific tank, if you follow directions, I dose uh, half a milliliter, and that's generally for about 50 gallons. If you have 100 gallons, you'd go one milliliter and so on and so forth. Uh, so here again, I follow the directions, about 0.5 uh, or half a milliliter. And once you get that, you walk it over your tank. You pretty much just put it all along the top. Make sure it gets stirred up with the flow. Now this here, you're going to want to let it sit in your tank with the flow on for about 15 minutes. And uh, typically, you, you may want to turn off the skimmer here. Um, but yeah, you're going to start seeing the fish go crazy for it. And within a few minutes, you're immediately <coughs> excuse me, going to start seeing the corals uh, especially like eight cans, just meaty corals immediately go into feeding mode. Uh, you guys can see here just quite a bit of them have already puffed up, are ready to accept the food. So it's a really enjoyable uh, food to watch. The next thing you want to do as that is, is stirring, get your quarter teaspoon. For my tank, I do two of these scoops um, in my tank and that's generally for about 50 gallons. So just go kind of by the manufacturer. I've actually done a little bit more. For this video, I'm gonna do kind of two scoops and a half just so I have more food to show you guys. Um, but you put that in your cup. I like to do this before I add the water. I guess you could do it after, but this ensures that you don't mix it too watery. That's also very important. You want it to be kind of pasty, um, but still be able to, uh, to run through the syringe. So in the water, I've er I already know from my tank, for those two and a half scoops, it's about 10 milliliters. So what I'll do, I'll get out 10 milliliters of salt water from your tank, and then we'll take it on back and we'll mix it in, let it sit for a few minutes. And again, you're doing all this while the polyp booster is mixing in the tank and it really gets the corals excited and ready to eat. So right before we get going, another important thing is you wanna shut off all the flow in your tank. If you're like me and you got a MP10, even when you put those in feeding mode, it doesn't shut it off. That's one thing I'd actually like Ecotech to do, but we'll cover that another day. 
So make sure you shut off your circulation, shut off your return pump, um, and let the tank settle for about a minute. That'll ensure that the flow's all settled, it's all ready to go. And at this point, the pulp uh, booster has already mixed into the water column. Uh, so we should be ready to just go back to fill our syringe and start feeding the corals. Now for the fun part in feeding them, you can see here when you're spot feeding them, I kind of start on the top and just really let gravity do its own thing. You don't need too much, just kind of dust them a little bit. Um, you can see here the scully. For you guys that don't have a scully, this thing is by far the most rewarding coral to feed. You're going to see here the mouth transform within a few seconds. And uh, yeah, it's this is just uh, one of those corals that's really enjoyable um, anytime you get to feed it. And then kind of moving on to the top, you can see I'll cover my uh, red gonopora, my green gonopora, my blastos. Um, I tend to concentrate a little bit more on corals that, that are meaty, like the blasto, the gonies, um, and just you know sprinkle a little bit more on them. Uh, same as my hammers here, you can see my bicolor hammer. Um, my octo spawn or frog spawn as well here another frog spawn slash octo spawn and then my torches on the back again I, I like to give them a little bit more uh, than I may give you know my chalices or my SPS just because you uh, can really see them grabbing the food lastly here on my left side um, I'll feed my clam on the very bottom and then from the clam I'll get my montipora again on the montipora I'll just sprinkle a little bit and then on the Zoa Garden and, and the Acan I have here under them, I'll just really go to town on these guys um, just to ensure that they get enough food. Uh, my hammer in the background as well as my frog, my green frog spawn. <clears throat> and then you can see my Duncans here um, on the left side. And just kind of make sure you have everything covered. Try to not make too much because we don't want, uh, you know, your nutrients to get too high. Uh, so kind of try and work with what you got. And then lastly, whatever's left in the container, you can see here, I'll just kind of sprinkle it all over the tank. Uh, this ensures that, you know, any corals that didn't get or whatever the case is, like SPS, uh, they allow, or sorry, it allows uh, them to grab it from the water column. So once you're all done, you're going to notice everybody's just going to look really, really happy. Um, you know, you may start seeing some like stringiness on the corals. You're going to start seeing the fish pick on them. Um, and again, to minimize the fish picking on them, be sure you feed them beforehand because if you don't, they're gonna be doing what they're doing here. Uh, you really get them excited because they smell the food, they smell the plankton in the water column. Um, and they may start picking on the coral. I wouldn't be worried that they're not damaging the coral, they're just picking the food off of it. Look at this blast, so it completely transformed. And you guys can see the acans here, nice and fat and plumpy and just eating and really enjoyable. Um, you know to be able to feed them and really see them react so wrapping up this video i you know hope you guys got to see really how i feed my coral and most importantly you got to see exactly what i use uh, and methods that maybe you can implement in your reef and i will tell you guys this i've tried a lot of foods by far reef roids i've been able to see the best coloration and i mean the video here shows it uh, best coloration best growth um, and all in all just happy healthy corals so for you guys out there that are wondering you know I want to try the best food on the market I want to have the best coloration the best growth you can sure start on the right track by getting yourself uh, reef roids and please be sure to remember to get the polyp booster they work great together uh, they're either really designed to go hand in hand because one really gets them into feeding mode gets the mouths open get them ready to go and then polyp lab allows you to come in and spot feed them right off the bat for you guys out there wondering, can you get away with just uh, broadcast feeding, which means just throw it in the water? You can get away with it, but you're by far going to notice better results by spot feeding as I did here. Um, it takes a little bit more time, but it's totally worth it. Generally, I'll do mine two, uh, two to three times a week. On average, it's going to be about two times a week. Um, I'll spot feed all the corals, and maybe once out of that week, I'll do like a broadcast feed. Um, on them but we're gonna be wrapping this video up here guys really hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys have any questions comments or concerns please leave them down in the comment box below if you guys aren't following me on instagram please be sure to check me out i already surpassed 11,000 followers so really happy and thank you all uh to you who have been a part of that here on youtube i just surpassed 3,000 subscribers again thank each and every one of you who's made that possible uh, you guys really motivate me to keep putting out great content for you guys so we're going to wrap this up here. Again, really hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, thanks for watching. Happy reefing.